In tonight's corner office, for most athletes, injuries are a normal part of playing sports. But for an unfortunate few, many of these injuries are career-ending and life-threatening. Replicel is one company that's working on technology to treat ailments by treating your cells. It's called regenerative cell therapy, a new medical treatment being developed to treat ailments such as chronic tendonitis, suffered by many athletes, of course. David Hall is the CEO of Replicel, a Canadian company, and is here to talk about it. David, welcome to New York, and thank you so much for coming thank by. You, Andrew. My All pleasure. Right. So, you know, for years we've been hearing about the promise of using one's own cells to help cure various ailments. How close are we getting to that being a reality? Well, in the case of, of the, the, the program that we're following, actually quite close. Um, in, and I expect that we can get an approval for treating chronic tendinosis within three years. How does that work? We take, it's very simple, we take um, a fibroblast cell that's isolated from a, a biopsy at the back of the scalp, we replicate it into the millions, um, and then we under ultrasound imaging, direct those cells back into the area of, of the tendon damage. And that essentially jump starts the, the healing process that has been interrupted. And, then, and that's what the chronic program is. A chronic tendinosis is an in, incomplete cycle of healing. And that, mm -hmm. that's what we're addressing. We're jump starting and, and, and bringing back the healing process into a normalized pattern. So is it, is it, is it growing new cells? Is that what's happening? Well, yes, you start with um, a, a certain number of cells and you replicate them into almost 100 million cells. Okay, so let's follow this out a little bit for severe injuries. Is this a process that could help in people who, let's say, are paralyzed? Uh, that, that is something that you're now getting into the stem cell therapy, right. uh, which is where you have adult stem cell therapy into, in, where you induce cells to become a certain kind of cell. Our treatment is simply addressing a cellular deficit in a chronic injury, such as tendinosis, where we'll also go into ligaments and fascias and other um, repetitive stress injuries that, that, that many athletes have, you and I have, um, veterans coming back have chronic tendinosis. There's a huge market of people that are, are essentially um, um, crippled, if you will, mm -hmm. um, by the pain uh, involved. Um, how long does the th therapy take in the treatment, for example? The, it takes us about five to six weeks to replicate the cells. The cells are returned under ultrasound directly into the da area of damage, and it takes about six months to bring the patient back to full functionality and, and to... permanent solution? And it, it is a permanent solution, um, and ca unless the patient goes in... And re injures himself. Yeah. Um, what about the cost involved? Without <laughs> specifically giving us numbers, uh, is this something that A, most insurance plans will cover, and B, is it something that's affordable? It most certainly will get covered by uh, groups like Workman's Compensation because the alternative of long term uh, disability and even the, the period of time where they're paying short term li um, um, uh, fees to for physiotherapy, et cetera, um, is quite significant. So getting someone back to work and functioning, let alone the quality of life quotient, is quite within the realms of what we're doing. Tell me about the FDA approval process, because that is an incredibly lengthy one. And where are you in that process, and how do you feel it is going? We are going into a phase two trial um, of 82 patients, which will actually be done in, in Vancouver, British Columbia, at the, uh, <clears throat> the university. Um, under the international rules of harmonization, that, pr that trial data can be used in the U.S. So um, at the end of 2015, we'll then start to look to the U.S. to do a pivotal trial, which will then take another year. So ergo, a couple of years to get this done. So many companies, and I don't know if I'd put you in a biotech. Is, are you in the biotech yeah, space? Okay. So, so many biotech companies, uh, there was a sort of biotech boom for a while, and they, and they did not reach their promised land, if you will. Uh, what, what makes you think you're going to get there, and what are the key ingredients to doing so? Well, I, I actually think that biotech has gone through, I mean, the first um, uh, wave was sort of beginning in the 70s and into the 90s with recombinant um, proteins. There's many profitable um, mm -hmm. companies then. And then, then you went into the genomics um, level, and now we're going into the uh, regenerative medicine wave. And it does take a long time. Uh, the difference between what we're doing in terms of um, stem cell therapy is we're not actually inducing cells to change. We're actually just taking um, a, a source cell and making more of them and putting them in to where there's a deficit of that particular so cell So it's type. a slightly easier process yes. or, or most of the Very work has already so. been done by nature yeah. itself. Uh, where else can this uh, technology go in treating ailments? 
Well, we're treating, we have a phase one trial that we're planning for the, later this year for treating um, wrinkles or sun damaged skin. Uh, we have a phase two trial, uh, um, which we'll also begin in 2014 uh, for treating pattern baldness. Okay, well that, that's certainly good news. <laughs> um, in the case of the fibroblast platform, there are other indications that we will be bringing along that, that are related to deficits of fibroblasts. Okay, finally, we have 30 seconds. How did you get involved? We always like to ask people taking on I new challenges. I started in the biotech business in uh, the late 1990s um, with a company called Angiotech where we actually put um, microscopic amounts of uh, chemotherapeutic on a stent, which we licensed to a company called Boston Scientific. And once in the business and just this. became hooked and, um, you know, I, I think that that there, it's a noble cause to be trying to, to sure. find solutions for patients that are crippled and in pain. Um, so I quite enjoy that okay. aspect of it. David Hall, continued luck. Thank you very much, the CEO of Rep. LaSalle. Appreciate Thank you very it. much, Ian. Later this week, sophisticated attacks on the power grids in Silicon Valley, leaving companies powerless and investigators baffled. Could this be part of a larger plan? We'll explore the problem Friday here on Arise Exchange. I'm Andrew Schmertz. Good evening, everyone.